What we're seeing up in the Sierra right now, traffic moving at barely a crawl here. I-80 at Kingvale eastbound. Look at those folks. How many people do you think headed up there and went, what? No, I thought we were in spring-like weather. And look at this. You can barely see along the Dunner, Donner Summit Pass there. Now, we are expecting that snow level down to roughly about 3,000 to 3,500 feet with anywhere from one to two feet of snow possible at the higher elevations. Camino could get about an inch or so. Pollock Pines, six to 12 inches of snow by Thursday morning. As far as rainfall, it's really going to start to pick up overnight tonight through tomorrow and into Wednesday with anywhere from a half an inch to three quarters of an inch in the valley, closer to an inch for the lower foothills. So far for today, we haven't seen much in the way of wet weather, but we're certainly seeing the snow, especially along I-80. And we were very much expecting this part of the storm system to be I-80 north. We felt the effects of the cold weather, though, coming in. Highs for today, only upper 50s to near 60, down from the mid to upper 60s where we've been for the past several days. We were at 46 for Placerville, up top for the Sierra, back into the 30s, and yes, winter is back. Those peak wind gusts were at about 25 to 30 miles per hour. They've backed off somewhat, so the plant's not really moving around too much here in the Gilmore backyard, and we're expecting winds at about 5 to 10 miles per hour through tonight. As you'll see, we're not seeing a whole lot of raindrops up there with our hourly forecast, but it picks up for tomorrow. We'll start the day off with the system hugging the coastline, but as it starts to push its way inland, that's when we'll see the widespread rain developing for the afternoon, chance of thunderstorms, and look at how much snow we're getting all the way through the Sierra down to, like I said, about 3,000 to 3,500 feet. That is low for this time of year. That will continue into our Wednesday forecast as well before things start to break up into our Thursday outlook. For tomorrow, highs will only be in the low 30s for the Sierra after morning lows in the teens. Now you'll see those afternoon highs climb to about 40, but places like Twain Hart, Arnold, Groveland, Palo Pines, all seeing snow tomorrow morning potentially, and again Wednesday morning. Now down the hill, Auburn up to 49 degrees. Could see some snowflakes there for Forest Hill as well as Nevada City, certainly into Quincy and Chester. Moving on to our five-day forecast, the snow continues into our Wednesday. Slight chance of some snow on Thursday, and then dry weather and warmer as we head towards the weekend. Nice to see the skiing and snowboarding, though, continuing this year and this deep in the season. Highs will be in the 50s along the coast, and we'll see that all the way inland here. Chance of thunderstorms extends all the way to the coast. We'll see that risk of thunderstorms as well through the northern San Joaquin Valley. We didn't see any rain for today, but it's in the forecast for tomorrow with morning lows near 40. Afternoon highs only climbing into the mid 50s, and we'll see that as well through much of the Sacramento region. You'll see highs to uh, tomorrow right around the mid to upper 50s. So thunderstorms a big part of the forecast. Now we're talking about the potential not only for thunder, but also small hail. We'll be tracking a possibility of funnel clouds. And then for the weekend, we're back to dry weather weather.